So today we're going to look at how you can unfreeze your Windows computer or alternatively, if the screen has gone black and you can't wake it, then this method might help too. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we're going to show you how you can unfreeze your computer. This is handy if the screen is frozen, say if the clock in the bottom right hand corner of the screen isn't moving, it's not showing the correct time because it's frozen at an earlier time or if the screen has gone completely black. This only really applies if you've been using your computer and suddenly this has happened, either your screen is frozen or the screen has gone black and you're unable to wake the computer. This guide is probably no good if you've turned your computer on and it just won't start up. If it's gone black, then this probably won't help, but it's still worth a try. It can't do any harm by just giving it a try. So what we need to do is this is really, really simple and anybody can do this. You don't have to be a complete genius. What we need to do is we need to locate some keys on our keyboard. And what we're looking for is the shift key, which is just that one just there, the control key or the CTRL key, which is that one there, and the Windows key. Now your Windows key might look different to mine. This is an older Windows key, but it's usually in the same place on the keyboard. It's usually between the FN and ALT key on a laptop, or usually between the Control key or CTRL key and the ALT key on a desktop. You're also looking for the letter B, B for Bertie. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down the Shift and the Control and also hold down the Windows key. And I'm just gonna make this screen a little bit smaller. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna tap the letter B, B for Bertie. So make sure you've got the Shift, the Control, and the Windows key held down, and then tap the letter B for Bertie. Now, when you do this, your PC is gonna make a noise that it's never made before if you've got your speakers turned on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these down, as I say, so the Control, the Shift, the Windows key, and then I'm gonna tap the letter B, and there you go, it's just made a beep. I've let go of all the keys and the screen just sort of flickered a few times there, but it's come back on. And hopefully this should fix your problems. What that's essentially doing is it's restarting the computer's graphic driver, also the desktop Windows manager, just basically to try and get it going again. It might have got stuck. I mean, it might be that there is a problem with your graphics card. It might be that your drivers might need updating. But if it just happens once in a blue moon, then it may just be a fact that you can just do that just get it to restart the driver and the desktop Windows manager, and it may just get you out of trouble. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if it helped you out, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look through my Amazon shop, or you're looking for a VPN, a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, or Fire Stick accessories, have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of great links down there for you. Buying, subscribing, or donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're gonna find some something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. If you wanna check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, then you can find me at CWTEK, or if you wanna have a look at my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.